Hello my friends who are listening to eBird Online and I'm back with a little bit of gossip. So first of all I just want to stop and wish you a very happy Valentine's Day and I hope everybody's spending it with the one they love. But guys, allegedly, out here on these internet streets, there's one couple who won't be spending it together not today, not tomorrow or anytime soon because rumour has it that 90 Day Fiancé's most contentious couple, Jasmine and Gino, have finally split up. But first up, I just want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, Bella Stella, who let me know a couple of days ago that something strange was afoot. So I did what the eBird does best and I had a little snoop around the internet. Want to know what I found? I thought you would. But just before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your continued support is greatly appreciated. But if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, smash that like button. Right, without further ado, the demise of Jasmine and Gino. So guys, I've been expecting these two to call it a day since about the very first time I saw them. Strangely enough, I've never gotten the love vibe from this couple. So about six months ago, I did a video which kind of broke down all of the reasons why I thought Jasmine secretly hated Gino. Well, in fact, not even really secretly. She was quite openly nauseated, sickened and disgusted by Gino. And so I never at any point imagined that they might even go the distance. I didn't even think they'd get married. And although Gino's a despicable character in and of himself, there's an absolute litany of terrible, terrible shit that she's done to him. Jasmine has told him that she cheated on him with her ex, Dane, who lived in the same building as her. A £4,000 apartment paid for by Gino. And she's also told Gino that she's now changed her mind on their agreement to start a family together. She's point blank refused to sign a prenup and we'll come to that a bit later. She's thrown countless tantrums and screaming fits and she's managed to ostracise him virtually from his family. Oh, and the most recent one, she let Gino know that she'd spent all of her wedding dress money and a few grand from Dane, her ex-boyfriend, on having a BBL. So yeah, she's done quite a bit, quite a bit. And I'm pretty sure in that list, there's loads of things I've missed. Oh, when I nearly forgot, she threw out his present of a toothbrush. <laughs> and finally, she's removed his omnipresent cap, live on camera. <laughs> and I think there are two main reasons for Jasmine's ire. And the first one is Gino and his personality. And the second one is the fact that he managed to ruin her career for her. So he sent nude images of Jasmine to his ex-girlfriend, who then promptly, well, posted them on the internet. And she got sacked from her job and allegedly lost her whole teaching career due to this act. Although I'm not entirely sure that's true. I think she may have lost the actual job that she was in, but it's hard to believe she couldn't get another job at another school. But from that moment forth, she seemed to just massively resent him. And it's unsurprising to me she did well. She did a Natalie, remember Natalie and Mike? It was a horrible relationship going into the wedding, but she managed to smile nicely for the day of the wedding. And then literally, no exaggeration, a few days later, they split up. But I think Natalie walked so Jasmine could run. I believe that Jasmine's seen the likes of Natalie and maybe Larissa before her have extremely short marriages. Some of them a few weeks or even just days, but yet still managed to be in the country years and years later. Honestly, guys, to my eye, it would seem that as long as you actually get married, you're golden, you can stay. Anyway, let's get to it. Screen Rant, and I'll link the article below, were the first people to report on the rumours of this split, although it has been swirling around Reddit and the like for quite a while. According to Screen Rant, Jasmine has taken every single trace of Gino off her Instagram account. She's living in New York, and on photos she's wearing neither her engagement or her wedding rings. Now, as you know, all of the 90 Day Fiancé stars sign, well, I say stars, have to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. And so they're not allowed to say if they got married, if they split up, or anything that's integral to their storyline until after the end of the season. They're basically not allowed to spill the beans. But you guys know Jasmine, she does what she wants. So if you look over her Instagram, you can see that she hasn't got any rings on at all. So that part seems to be true. And also, I mean, this is quite spurious, but I'm going to say it anyway. She's singing along to Olivia Rodrigo, Vampire. And as the music plays in the background, she's repeating all of the words and phrases that she wants to say to Gino. And so unfortunately, due to demonetization, I can't play this video. And so she stopped to specifically say the word bloodsucker and also dream crusher. <laughs> oh dear, Gino, you're not coming up smelling of roses now, are you? And then she played 
Every girl I ever talked to told me you were bad, bad news. You called them crazy. God, I hate the way I'm called them crazy too. And all the way through this part, she was nodding her head. And this was just, I don't know, I think about 10 or 12 weeks ago. And then she said, yep, call me crazy all you want. <laughs> uh, okay. One, we already have. We've always known you're crazy. <laughs> but two, who is that to, Jasmine? Guys, I don't think it can be anyone else other than Gino. And I feel there was rather too much emphasis on the phrase dream sucker for a happy newlywed. Okay, so what else? Well, she's reached out to Gino's ex-wife. Uh, wait, what? Yes, yet again, this was on Instagram. And so it all started because Gino's ex-wife got remarried. And so Jasmine, the benevolent soul that she is, took it upon herself to send her good wishes. And she writes, congratulations to Gino's beautiful ex-wife, who recently got married to the real love of her life. <laughs> Here in America. <laughs> Guys, there's layers to this. First up, real love of her life, i.e. not Gino. And she's also put, beautiful ex-wife. It's not the kind of thing Jasmine would say about another woman, unless she had an ulterior motive. That's how I see Jasmine's actions. And then she had to emphasise she got married to the real love of her life here in America, i.e. she's in America still, Gino, on your dime. And guess what? I'm in America on your dime and I ain't going nowhere. But that's not all. Jasmine's got more to say. Of course, she always has. And she continues, just by the record, Gino's ex-wife has never been mean to me or anything else. I believe that woman is a saint for being married to Gino for seven years. No, we're not friends either, but once again, I believe she's a good person from what I've heard. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I heard Jasmine talk about Gino's ex, she referred to her as that biatch. And she also had scant regard for her interior design skills and her colour palette. <laughs> the walls were painted with red and baby blue. An almost unique colour combo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. For, so for her now to be praising her and calling her a saint, I think something pretty major has to have gone down. I don't see how she and Gino can be together and she would be able to make this kind of statement on Instagram. And so if we take a quick look at Gino's Instagram feed, it's everything from the show and there's lots and lots of shots of Jasmine. But it's completely the opposite on her Instagram there is only one photo of her with Gino, and it's this one. One, she doesn't look very happy at all, and two, I think she's only kept this up because she was on Entertainment Weekly. And she also apparently bumped into somebody in the street, according to a 90 Day Fiancé Instagram gossip site, and she was apparently saying she'd finished with Gino and she was slagging him off. But it's a claim with literally no evidence, no pictures, nothing. And I would like to think if you bumped into Jasmine in the street and bothered to ask her about her marriage, you would at least take a photo, even from behind. So yeah, there was nothing there. And then also the Instagram account that it came from has now been taken down by Instagram. So I don't know, make of that what you will. So that's about it. What does the eBird make to all of this? Well, I think that TLC are trying to keep the whole thing under wraps until the tell-all, which I'm guessing is going to be in a couple of weeks time. And I think we'll see the whole thing unravel then. I do believe that Jasmine was just holding on long enough to get married, to get that ring on her finger. And then she knows she can kind of fight it through the courts for her right to stay in the USA. Also, Gino needs to be very worried about his 401k. Because I've got a feeling if she didn't sign a prenup, she has actually got some legal right to it. And that should be a very big worry for Gino. Ordinarily here, I'd say... She's done him a wrong and she's tricked him, but she's got the most awful attitude and the most terrible temper that, well, he should have seen this coming. They can't go two or three days without a major, major bust up. And also, we can't forget the fact that this couple met on a sugar baby, sugar daddy site, so you know the nature and quality of the relationship before it even begins. And also, we've seen in the past, Gino contacting his exes and sending racy photos. And then more recently, of course, Jasmine found a lip gloss in his car and he couldn't account for that in any way, shape or form. And let's not of course forget his antics at the strip club. He should have pretty much known that she'd find out and when she did, well, it was all going to go south. So really for Gino, the writing was on the wall. So guys, I'd love to know what you think in comments down below. Do you think they've split up? If so, 
Do you think she'll be able to stay in the USA? I personally think the most damning evidence is her comments to his ex-wife. I also personally think if they were still together, you'd see some recent evidence of this on their social media. But what I'd really like to hear your views on is do you think she can stay in the US? After having been married for such a, a short period of time, I think she possibly can. Natalie seems to have managed it, but I guess time will tell. Right guys, thanks so much for listening. I'm halfway through another video, but that will have to take a back seat because I'm off to cook Mr. Ebird a lovely steak. And so that video is on Rob and Sophie. So yes, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Hit it, press it, smash it, caress it. Subscribe, my friends, subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. You've been listening to eBird Online, and I bid you good day.